blade and quill. Hello and welcome. This is part three of a video series on the Creedus tools. Last week, we talked about the free transform tool and how to transform pictures using first traditional and well-established techniques and second using the buttons located in the tool options window to make fine-tuned changes. A quick disclaimer of the Perspective Transform tab does not help you create objects in perspective as shown. The Perspective tab is a different mode of a transform tool. It allows you to alter your images to adapt or fit them perfectly onto pre-existing perspective displays just like the house you see here. Click this tab to be on the perspective mode. To move your image, activate the position button. Using the arrows on the side of the position boxes, you can move your image one pixel at a time around the X axis and the Y axis. Here you will notice that you cannot activate the rotation button in the perspective mode. None of the rotate or flip buttons can be used. Activate the scale button to resize your image 1% at a time. Make sure to lock this link to connect the width and the height. This way, when you resize your image, the proportions are preserved and the image is not distorted. Activate the shear button to distort your image in both directions. To undo your changes, click on Reset. Grab a corner of your image. Now stretch it until you see a red dot appear. This dot is one of your vanishing points. As you can see here, you can manipulate your image by using any of the vanishing points or by grabbing its corners. In this demonstration, I am placing windows on a house that I already drew in perspective. In order to properly fit the windows, I am moving the corner points of the transforms frame box to align them to the walls. This way, my windows point toward the same vanishing points as the walls. I also decrease their size and move them at small and precise increments uh, using the tool options window. Alright, uh, we are done for today. Next week I will show you the Warp tab. Have a great day. Don't forget to practice and uh, most importantly uh, have fun creating art. Bye!